All right, there's been a lot of talk about the fuel terminals, and not many people really know what they are. Well, today, uh, well, like yesterday, uh, Collective Carbon Comics uh, off of Oak Park and Archer in Chicago has gotten a dual terminal machine. Now, these dual terminal machines have gotten a lot of hype um, since they've been up a few hours that they've already been. First night, always a, uh, bringing up a, um, a crowd, uh, really good stuff. They have uh, a bunch of uh, promo cards that come out of the machine for uh, dual terminal only cards. They are a special type of rarity as they kind of glitter, but you also have foil, like super rare, your silver prints, and uh, there are ultra rares. Um, in the back, you really cannot see it at all. It's actually a micro code that is scanned through this little piece right here. Now, uh, I'm gonna demo the, I'm gonna demo the, the dual terminals for you, just to see what they're like. Dual terminals in America are no different from the dual terminals in Japan. You are given three modes to duel by Action Duel with mini games, Speed Duel with life points of 4,000 and three slots, or Get Card Only, where it dispenses a card for the value you put in. Either mode you select, you will receive a card. In Action Duel, you will either play the computer or an adjacent player. If you choose the computer, you will duel a Yu Gi Oh! duelist from the Yu Gi Oh! franchise. You could select the monster by either scanning it with the code in the back. That is so or you may randomly select a monster using the touch screen at the beginning of the card scan option. You will go through various trials and mini games such as Mass Factory of Production, Star Crusher, and even Lazar's Pinball. These mini-games are to power up your monster by collecting stars of their various power-up type. These power-ups become crucial because it makes it a lot easier to hit attacks against your opponent's monster. By making attacks, you have to use the action button to select anywhere between the range of your monster's attack and try to get closest to the center. The more uh, bigger sound effects or onomatopoeias as I'm seeing it, the better the attack. Room beats pow, pow beats a miss, what well, doesn't miss a miss, and some monsters even have like a bzzz kind of sound effect, which is code colored blue. Should your monster be successful, you will be able to defeat your opponent. In 2-0-ing your opponent, you will unlock an extra stage. Now, can I use it? I don't care. It'll, it'll live. Next, you have Speed Duel, where you have three moves of beginner, easy, or hard. Here, you're allowed to select up to three normal main deck cards and three extra ca deck cards. You're not allowed to scan a card with the same name. Oh my god, that's awesome. Should you not have cards for this, you can randomly select them just like before. What does he do? He can't be destroyed by battle. But uh in hard mode you will select more decks and different uh, types than beginner or easy. No, how do you, you are given seven cards to choose from, with the additional three cards that were scanned. Pick a deck that suits you or you think you're going to do well with. Then, you're allowed to pl pick a character that you wish to duel against. Super special, awesome. The difference between a normal duel and this duel is you're given the chance of destiny draw, where you're allowed to collect points in order to obtain a destiny draw, allowing you to scan a card, any card of your choice, instead of your regular draw. The graphics are to be admired. 
It gives the game more of a real feel. Should you successfully, perfectly beat your opponent, you will receive an extra stage. Never gotten this. Congratulations. This duel is no different from your regular duel, it's just maybe a little harder. Racking up points could give you a high leader score. Enjoy your dual terminals and have fun.